guys uh, today we are going to look into the procedure of molecular docking we would be uh, from starting we would be uh, covering what's molecular docking and then we would move on to the steps to perform molecular docking and then at the end we would look into the uh, analysis and interpretation of uh, of molecular docking and basically how do we analyze the results okay so let's begin so for the for the video i have made a, a small ppt we would be covering this ppt as we go along okay so molecular docking what's the definition so molecular docking is nothing but it's the study of uh, interaction between small molecule and a protein so the small molecules can be known as ligand and the protein is a receptor for us so uh, uh, molecular docking is performed between a ligand and a receptor ligand is the one which binds to the receptor which is what called as dock so ligand docks to the receptor okay to the next slide uh, softwares so we would be needing this couple of software which is autodoc tools pymol and autodoc mina you can just download it from the internet uh, it's pretty easy to download from there but let me just show you one of the software on you know how can you download it so if you go to the google and type autodoc autodoc mina let's say uh, autodoc mina you want to download so now you go you go to the website first page of that and there you can find the you know downloadable link you can download the software as per your operating systems uh, capability either it's 32 bit or 64 bit right okay so let's go back to the slide uh, like that you can download all the three softwares you can just type them on the google and the first link would take you to the you know downloadable uh, uh, website so let's move on to the next slide material so what are the materials do we need to perform molecular docking so basically we need just two things which is a receptor and a ligand so a receptor for us in this case is the pdv structure of target protein for me it's the pdv structure of target protein you can have any protein and the ligand for me is the 3d chemical structure of uh, oil or for me i'm using the oil for for the for the sake of this example okay so what i will do is i will just download the uh, receptor and the ligand so the receptor i can download uh, from rcb rcsb pdb uh, or for example i have taken 4qoi uh, for this example so i would just download the pdb format of it so we are downloading yeah it's it's uh, it is downloaded so i would just save it somewhere let's say in the desktop i would create a different folder for this example i would name it as demo right okay so i have this demo folder with me now i would save my protein into this file into this folder i have saved my protein in this folder now to dive now what's the next next is that we have to now have have the ligand so for that uh, uh, i have downloaded my ligand from popcam i would just go to the online google again google popcam the first link would take me to this home page i i can then search my uh, ligand here so for the sake of uh, this example i am just uh, searching for limonene so once i have limon in here i would open the first link of that and i would have to download the 3d conformer structure of limon in from here i can download the sdf format so i have also downloaded sdf format of it i would save it in the same folder okay so i have now let's go back to the ppt now i have my pdb structure of target protein as well as 3d chemical structure of ligand now what's the next so now we have the procedure or the steps so first first we have to do the receptor and ligand preparation and to do that now we need to open the autodoc tools uh, so once you download the autodoc tools from my previous site as i told you you can go to autodoc tools and just drag just drag your protein into it so I have just dragged my uh, PDB ID of protein into this. Now we have to perform ligand preparation, and to do that, we have to go to edit. We have to, uh, yeah, we have to delete water because we just don't want unnecessary hydrogen bonds to be forming, right? 
uh, in our structure in our study so then we have to add column charges we have added column charges now we have to add the hydrogen so we have to add the polar hydrogen in this case yes we have added polar hydrogen in this case and this is how our molecules our uh, you know receptor i would say look like so once we have the receptor now we have to go to grid select the uh, vector molecule and then select choose then click on the uh, protein and then select molecule once you have that at the end you would be getting your uh, ligand in the form of uh, which would be in a different format so it would be in pdbqt format this time so let me just save it into the same folder okay let's just look into it yeah we have got protein.pdbqt so now what to do now we have to do the ligand uh, the ligand preparation right so for that we would just delete delete the protein which we already have open in the of tools now just minimize it then open pymol okay so to do the ligand preparation we have to take our uh, ligand to the pymol because uh, because ligand is in sdf format and this orthodox tools this does not support sdf format so we have to convert sdf to pdb so we would just drag this into pymol so we have this ligand here now we would go to file we would go to export molecule and we would select our uh, ligand then we would select the status one right then we would save it save it in the pdb format so we have it in the pdb format we would just name it something like like you know just for the sake of naming it uh, there's nothing specific about the name okay so we have like the pdb now we can take our ligand to the orthodox tools so this is orthodox tools this is our ligand and this is how we are getting it on there we have we have the ligand here now to do the ligand preparation in orthodox tools we would click on ligand we would click on input we would select choose we would select ligand and then select for orthodox 4 okay uh, now we would have to just uh, output it uh, as a pdbqt file into the same folder so this is where we have to save our ligand yeah so we have our ligand that pdbqt and our the protein 4qi that pdbqt so we would just uh, rename our ligand as like as ligand so this is what okay not this 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 is what we have to name it as ligand.pdbqt and to this we have to name it as protein.pdbqt okay so we have our ligand and protein with us ligand and protein protein with us now what's the next step let's go back to the ppt grid formation so to do the grid formation this would be done in autodoc tools you have to open autodoc tools you have to drag your ligand and protein into it so i have to drag my ligand into it i have to drag my protein into it okay so i have got my ligand and protein there so this is my ligand and protein are here so i have to first select macromolecule once because in other tools you have to select your protein uh, always whenever you do the grid formation so you have to just say select yes click ok you have now selected your macromolecule now go to grid go to grid box and then you would have this pop-up coming up here and you would also see the grid box formed in, in you know uh, in your protein so okay now what what's the next procedure uh, next one is cmd to run the command cmd is nothing but command prompt so we need to run commands in command prompt so for that we would also be needing a, a config file config file is nothing but a configuration file and how do you get the configuration file so let me just show you an example of configuration file since i have already done it so i would uh, 
I have the configuration file with me. This is the configuration file. So I, what I will do it, I will just copy it from here, and I will also show you how you can generate config configuration file from you know from uh, start. So let me just open the configuration file. Okay. So for you, you what you have to do is you have to type search for the Notepad. Notepad. Type the same commands here. Uh, but uh, in, now in this center x center y center z you have to type this this is my center x okay uh, that is my center x just one minute this is my config file this is my center x right this is my center y yeah this is my center y and this is my center z so i have my center x center y center z with me i just have to copy it there yeah so this is my config file there for size x size y size z you have to leave it as 40 40 40 because this is what the dimensions are here uh, energy engine exhaustiveness you have to keep it for a net if you are not specific or you just don't know what to put so you just leave it default which is for a net to have to now just save it once you have saved it now you can go back to your folder and check yes it's here so we have got config file we have got ligand.pdbqt we have got protein.pdbqt now is the time to run the command prompt so just type on your search bar, search bar as cmd you would get command prompt opened okay so now here we have to go into the location where we are working where our ligand is so that's this right this folder this folder link you have to this address you have to copy type cd here so this would go to your folder now you are in your folder okay now next uh, Next, what you have to do is you have to. I have it already the command with me because I have been using it for multiple times, so I can just show you from here. Okay, okay. So now what you have to do is you have to copy the address of your Vina file which is installed in your system. So for me, my Vina file is installed in C drive, program files, then this folder, Vina, then Vina.txt. Let me just show you in my folder as well. So let me just go to my C drive. This is my C drive, right? This is my program files. Now, this is my folder where my C file that Vina file is. It would be same for you if nothing changes. So we have to check, copy this address, and then you have to paste it in this similar way. How? As you have done with this okay so you have to put the uh, colon double bracket then type the address then at the end you have to write as vina.exe that's the executive file you have to close the double bracket now now you have to type these commands on your command prompt just follow the commands which i am uh, using uh, receptor which is protein dot pdb pdbqt right yeah now your ligand your ligand would be ligand would be okay for every piece of that we have to type this ligand would be ligand dot pdbqt then your config file that would be config so it's the same command i have just got pasted because we had only typed it once yeah supporting.pdbqt ligand.pdbqt config.txt log.test output.pdbqt yeah now it is working since it's working you can show that it shows it's analyzing the binding sites it would take a little bit of time before it forms. This is the output. Output would be in the log format. 
which is you know already formed here because we have typed the command there initially okay we have got it we have got the results so these are our results so as you can see our results are in the results as four columns which is mode affinity and distance from lower bound and distance from upper bound so this is the affinity which is you know uh, information useful for us the uh, highest the higher negative affinity means the better the ligand is binding to the protein okay so the unit you can see is in kilo calorie per mole okay so now we have the log file this is just you can also see in the log file this is the log file there also you can see the same results this is just you can you know uh, use for your further experiment and now i will show you how to visualize the uh, results so to visualize the results you have to open pymol again just delete the earlier file you have it here now drag just uh, just drag your output file as well as your protein yeah we have our output and protein here just change the format to something like uh, surface okay now this is our ligand which is being which is docked to this receptor with a big molecule you, if you just play this you would find that your ligand is showing all the different conformations which it was showing in the uh, output table which is this right we had just seen the output table these are the different nine conformation it was showing so this is all nine conformation as you can see we are able to see it now from here you can analyze and find the best conformer i think that's the first one so this is the best conformer which gives you the higher highest negative binding energy okay so this is where we would uh, do the visualization so to interpret we can we would uh, we have, will see that the binding energy range should be between minus 8 kilocalorie per mole to minus 11 kilocalorie per mole to be you know to be considered the uh, docking uh, to be considered the working as a good docking so if it's not there or if it's close to the range we would uh, see that the docking has been performed but it's not that effectively been docked okay so this is where we this is how we do the molecular docking uh, let's go back to the ppt yeah this is how we do the molecular docking i have told you about the one prompt i have also told you about the analysis of the output yeah so thank you guys uh thank you thank you for the uh thank you for your time and i hope this video has been useful to you thank you